Right now on BBC Two, it's Friday's Working Lunch. Hello and welcome. We're outside for this Friday's Working Lunch. Welcome aboard and hold very tight, please. It's the bus which runs on vegetable oil. I'll have a full report on that. And a full tank too, so stay with us this lunchtime. Well, uh, Adam gets the high, glamorous life of the high seas. And I've got the land lover story. We've brought you cars powered by vegetable oil and even canal boats which run on the stuff in the past. Now the technology is being used in public transport. Simon's in the cold to explain more. Uh, Simon, how are you doing down there? I'm freezing, I can tell you. I prefer to be in there, but I've got something exciting to tell you because we believe this is the first operational vegetable oil powered bus that's working in the UK. Now, if anyone disagrees with that, I'm sure they'll get in touch. It has some diesel in it, and that's what I'm going to show you first of all. It's diesel filler cap just here, because there's a small reserve diesel engine there. We're going to go around the other side and see the other one. But while we go, I shall explain to you why they say this is on a low carbon diet. That's because although vegetable oil, when it's burnt, does produce carbon dioxide, which is a global warming gas, it has been grown from a plant which has sucked in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere while it's growing. So in theory it's carbon neutral and also this runs on recycled old used vegetable oil. So here we are is the filler cap where the vegetable oil goes in. That's the main tank which used to have diesel and that's what the bus mainly runs on. So that's the story of this bus. Let's hear the story so far about how vehicles have been running on vegetable oil. What are you showing me here? The vegetable okay, oil phenomenon has been driven by enthusiasts like Sebastian Rash in Gloucestershire, who salvages used cooking oil from cafes and restaurants and stashes it in his garden. He cleans it up with his own home-assembled apparatus and runs two formerly diesel cars and a van on this recycled fuel. This is Sebastian driving one of the cars on the oil, and recently he's driven his van to Bulgaria and back, powered by vegetable oil. But the movement has developed much further. Some firms are organising regular pickups, like this at a pub in Essex, part of a daily round run by JC Fuels. They take the grubby vegetable oil and put it through a series of settling tanks. After a few months, it's ready to use. The rise of vegetable oil has stalled recently because of the duty which has to be paid on fuel used to power most vehicles. Drivers had been getting away with paying a reduced rate of duty per litre of 27.1 pence, designed to encourage green fuels. But in the last few months, customs have been forcing vegetable oil users to pay the full diesel duty of 47.1p, as we have been highlighting on the programme. But things are moving on. Last year, we showed Britain's first articulated truck to be run on recycled cooking oil after modifications had been made to its engine. And now, it's going on the buses. Well, I'm round the back of the veggie bus now. You can see the engine open. And let me introduce you to Mike Lawton, who converts vehicles, and to Bill Courtney. This is Courtney Coaches. It's right. your bus, That's isn't right. it? First of all, Mike, just show us the fuel that we're running on here. Well, essentially, we take uh, waste of vegetable oil and we can see uh, the chips and the breadcrumbs at the bottom. This layer here is the animal fats, and here's the bit that we're interested in. This is the bit we take and we clean up and turn into a diesel equivalent fuel. So that's what it's running on. How have you modified the engine here so that it works with vegetable oil? It's actually a fairly basic uh, system to, to apply to a modern diesel engine. Down here, you can see this box, that contains valves which control the flow of the vegetable oil and the diesel to the engine. And the main part we've added is this heat exchanger system here. And this actually heats uh, the vegetable oil from waste heat energy from the engine, such that the vegetable oil looks like diesel to the engine. The cost of doing that? Uh, a typical commercial vehicle is around about two and a half to three thousand pounds. OK, thank you, Mike. Bill, it's your bus, as, as I said and you've been testing it, what Sorry. sort of performance have you got out of it with vegetable oil as opposed to diesel? Uh, not only is it as good as diesel, it's actually better. There's no power loss whatsoever and you get more miles per gallon. You had a bit of, a, a bit of an issue with the cold weather, didn't you? Is yes. it harder to run a vegetable oil when it's very cold? Yes, it is. It, it waxes. Uh, so, you know, all the time these trials are ongoing, uh, the technology is improving and now we heat, heat the, the vegetable oil up before it comes through. What about pollution? Because you have to get these maintained, don't you, when you and tested, and you put it in um, for the normal pollution test. What happens? Well, what happens is that uh, their the, the meters don't read it because there's, there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust at all. 
so we had to switch it back to diesel for them to be able to pass the vehicle for its uh, MOT test. Oh, so well, you're getting zero effectively zero on some effective. of those pollutants? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, let's see exactly what, what it does do and can we start the engine now to see what happens? Here we go. Right, the engine is running now and it is running on vegetable oil because we've had it warmed up with diesel already. People say a lot about the way that vegetable oil fumes smell. Let's have a smell of this one. It's really hardly anything at all. The oil here has been used to fry crisps, so it doesn't have the sort of fish and chip smell that it has by reputation, but it's really nothing at all. We're going to be looking inside the bus a little bit later on, but for the moment, I'm going to hand it back to you. Now, uh, we need to check on Simon's, uh, well, where he is, really. He was, saw, saw a bus. Where is he? He's probably inside now, I hope. Simon? No, I'm still out in the cold wind, so I'm going to come in and show you the inside of our vegetable-powered bus, powered by vegetable oil. And I wanted to show you the front of the bus where Mike, the driver, here is. It's a completely conventional um, control area for the bus. What you can't see is a little readout that he has there, which describes how this thing works. It warms up on diesel. When it's warm enough to run on vegetable oil, it runs on vegetable oil. And then at the end of the day, it flushes out on diesel again. So it does use diesel, but the main fuel is vegetable oil. Let's talk to Bill Courtney, who runs the bus company. Um, Bill, when you say to customers that they might have a veggie bus, a vegetable oil powered bus, what do they say? Well, they're as excited as we are about the technology. Uh, not only is it more economical, but it's almost, it's all, oh, sorry, it's also very environmentally friendly. Um, so it's not difficult selling it to them, and you're not charging them more for this? No, we're not, 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 not uh, charging them any more at all. What are your plans um, for the... Because you, you've only got one at the moment. Yes, um, that's right. Are you going to bring more on stream? Yes, we are. we've got one being converted next week and uh, another one due in about four weeks' time. And eventually, how many could you have, do you think? We're envisaging within 12 months to have 45 vehicles running on rapeseed oil. Do you think it's realistic that there'll be that many buses with you and probably with other companies as well? Yes, I mean, the payback on it is about eight months as an average. And, um, you know, that's... Uh, it just has to happen. It has to go that way. Well, so you get us. back the cost of converting the bus from the savings that you make on the fuel yes. within eight months? Within eight months, as an average. OK. Bill, thanks very much indeed. Okay. Let's talk to Mike Lawton now. Um, you convert the buses, uh, Mike, but there is an issue over the, the vegetable oil uh, that they use, and that's to do with the duty that the government demands. Can you just explain what's going on there? Yes, the situation is very ambiguous at the moment. Uh, there's been no change in what's known as the Hydrocarbons Act, but there seems to be a, a reinterpretation of duty levels on behalf of customs and excise. So some people and some producers remain at the lower duty rate and some are being told they must move to the higher duty rate, which is the same as fossil fuels. So at the moment you're charging uh, 60 pence a litre for the recycled vegetable oil that you sell to customers. And with the v VAT on top, that's 72 pence. Um, what would happen if they slapped more duty on top of that? Uh, completely destroy uh, the viability uh, of the technology. Uh, th there needs to be this differential for customers such as, uh, as Courtney's to take the perceived risk of new technology. Without that differential, people will carry on using fossil fuels. OK, but look on the positive side. What is the future of this? What other sorts of vehicles do you think could run on vegetable oil? Well, we're getting a huge interest in the technology. It's not just applicable to road transportation. We're looking at offline power generators. We're doing a project to make a, a factory completely CO2 neutral. And uh, we've just got a large government grant to convert the UK's first fishing boat to run on waste vegetable oil. And then ultimately, who knows, even aircraft engines could be adapted. What, do you think it's feasible that uh, an aeroplane could run on vegetable oil, a jet engine? Theoretically, yes, because there's, there's no spark in there. All we're doing is vaporising a light oil vapour and causing that to combust. So there's no reason why vegetable oils couldn't be modified to displace fossil aviation fuel. OK. Mike Lawton, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So there we have it. One bus at the moment, 45 buses coming along, and in future possibly fishing boats and even aircraft, all running on vegetable oil. Yeah, which we thought we yes. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Goodbye from the vegetable oil powered bus. And if any of you have got stories about vehicles or other machinery that you've powered with vegetable oil and want to tell us about it, we're very interested. But uh, I've got a bus to catch, it's just about to leave. 
and I'm off. We well, didn't move. <laughs> didn't <laughs> stop being protective. Uh, if you are looking for a weekend dose of personal <laughs> finance, tune into Moneybox on BBC Radio 4 tomorrow after the midday news. Uh, they're taking a look at the new anti fraud protection being offered by some banks. And credit yeah, is it worth the price and everything? The, 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 I think the, the, the bus didn't move, not because it was broken or anything, it was just waiting. <laughs>